Hey you guys! A collage is art made with lots of different materials like paper, stickers, photographs, or even fabric. We are going to make our very own guitar collage. Let's get started! For your supplies, you'll need either a brown piece of paper, which this is actually part of my cereal, or a colored piece of paper. So those are both options that you can do, either one. Then you'll need a couple pieces of white paper so that you can make this painted paper, which I've shown you how to do before. So you'll make some of that, or if you have leftovers, you can use that as well. Then you'll also need a piece of white paper for your background. Finally, if you have any stickers that you wanna use, you're welcome to that. Markers, crayons, glue stick, scissors, and a pencil. All right, let's make the guitar first. So like I said, you can use either a cardboard paper or brown paper. I'm gonna use this green uh, paper. I'm gonna fold it in half first because it's bigger than my cereal box. And then I'm gonna cut that in half along the fold because I want it to be smaller than my white piece of paper. Now I'm gonna make the shape of the guitar starting by cutting four corners of my guitar, just like this. The next step is to cut smaller triangles on each side so that I'm rounding out my guitar. I wanted to make an oval shape, and you can see here where I've cut smaller sides. All right, when you're ready, Carefully pick up your trash, don't let it go away. And now we're gonna cut rainbows on either side of the guitar, just like this. All right, the last thing is we're gonna take that extra half of our paper and we're gonna cut a big strip to use as the neck of the guitar. I'm gonna cut four smaller pieces off the top those will be for the tuners. Time to assemble. With your glue stick, you're gonna apply a nice layer of glue to the whole neck of your guitar. And then put it halfway on the top. Now be careful, because the back is still sticky, but that's all right, because we're gonna use the glue that's there to apply our tuners, two on either side. Once you have that, give it a second to rest because we want that glue to dry so it doesn't stick to your table. So let it rest. All right, when it's dry, we're gonna start adding details to our guitar. Starting with a big circle in the middle Now I'm gonna add a thick line or like a skinny rectangle down below and four dots. This part's a little tricky, so do your best. Once you've drawn four dots up at the top, you're gonna connect with a long straight line going down the neck of your guitar and try to match it up with those dots. If it's not perfect, that's okay. We want either four or six dots. Now, I'm just gonna add some details on my guitar. You can do whatever you'd like to yours at this point. This is just the design I'm going with to add some detail to my guitar. All right, when you're done with your guitar, you can move on to the background. So I have my painted paper. If you don't have painted paper or if you don't wanna make it, you can always use magazines, newspapers. If you have music sheets that you wanna use, that would be fabulous. 
any kind of paper that has lots of patterns on it. You know what? Maybe if you even have some leftover wrapping paper, that would work as well. With your paper and markers, crayons, whatever else you have, you're gonna begin adding layers to your background white paper. So I'm starting with dots, but you could do anything you want to your background. You could do triangles or other shapes. You could do different lines. You could even do random like blurbs of color. That would all work. Then you're gonna start using your painted paper or your magazines or whatever you have and start putting it onto your background. Don't worry too much about the design or the shapes. Just start applying as you go. And I'm just kind of cutting, making shapes with my paper, and I'm just gonna see where it takes me. Now that all my paper is glued down, I'm just going to add more details because I still see a lot of white and I don't want to see as much white. So I'm going to add crayons. I also have my stickers that I can use for sure. These are music notes which I'm adding. Music notes are used when you want to play music, like if you're going to play your guitar or if you're singing. You can pause here while you finish up your background. When your background is done, add your guitar right on top. Once you've glued it down by going around the edge, you can finish it with either some more stickers or any other designs where you think that you need more detail. I cannot wait to see your guys' guitar collages. Oh, one more thing you guys, save any of your extra painted paper. You can always use it in another project.